What do you mean, the three legs down at the airport? <laughs> oh, well, Brian Neal, who was an international sculptor, and he was a manxman, of course, went to the boys' high school, he wrote, and he said he would like to do something for the millennium. Well, Brian is, is, is very much a sort of contemporary artist, and I suppose that the politicians thought that he might just produce a, a very sort of classical depiction of the three legs. It is an image which came to me, just something clicked in my head, and that's how I, I came to make it. What he produced, what I, I thought was quite interesting, but the politicians just didn't like it at all. And I felt the, the, the three legs should be getting off its knees. So, getting to its feet again, and that's really what gave me the, the concept. So I engineered this, this, this um, the skeleton, which is all sort of machined and bolted together in stainless steel. It wasn't very popular at the time. It was, uh, um, there was a lot of um, criticism about it, which I thought was uncalled for, actually. But Brian was very indignant that the politicians didn't like this wonderful sculpture, and they got very agitated about how much it was costing as well. And, and probably by what he would have charged for a third-party um, commission, it was next to nothing. But uh, at the time, it seemed quite a lot, and they got very, very uptight. And I'm not an upholsterer. I'm a bony sort of sculptor. In fact, an armourer. They almost wouldn't invite him over for the unveiling of it, which was very discourteous, but it all got sorted out eventually. And uh, Prince and Princess Michael did the unveiling, I remember. Jack Niverson was an enormous help on that, because he was chairman of the airport at the time. He said, oh, yes, you can stick it in front of the airport. And, and, and I mean, frankly, what would the airport be without it now? It's very much one of the sort of the, the fixtures and the features of the airport. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's Neil. Oh, that's, that's his sculpture, sculpture, is it? Yeah. A lot of people at the time, no doubt about it, they said this is dreadful. I found it very hurtful, actually, because I had s sort of sweated blood getting the thing together. And uh, financially, it was, it was a disaster as far as I was concerned, um, because the cost of making it was far greater than uh, the, the rewards. Because the island I see, see as my home, and um, you know, I've drawn most of my ideas from things I grew up with over there, uh, I, I was deeply shocked, to tell you the truth. And um, I always felt like I didn't want to go back there ever again. So I didn't go back for about 10 years. By this time, the sculpture had become, people got used to it. In fact, a lot of people seemed to like it very much. In fact, I think some people think it's the best thing I've ever done. <laughs> well, you can have it running along, walking, doing all sorts of things. But basically, what I wanted to do was to make it work completely in the round. I'm very pleased that, in the end, people have um, reconciled themselves to it anyway. I hope they have anyway. I expect we've still got a few hard cases there. Anyway, that's always happens.